Hello and welcome to Polycosm, my name is Christina and today we'll be going through how to update textures in Blender in near real time through the powers of PSDs or Photoshop documents if you will. Say you have a model that you've already unwrapped in the UV editor but you now want to hand paint some textures in Photoshop or GIMP if you're using a free option that exports PSD files. Exporting from Photoshop every time you want to see the result that you've painted reflected in your model by going into Blender and reloading every time is super time consuming so I just kind of wanted to share a little tip to help speed things up a bit. So let's start with Blender. Here's a model I borrowed from Bitgem, so shout out to them for this awesome low poly asset. From the layout tab let's go to the UV editing tab. If we now enter edit mode through tab, we can see our model is unwrapped. To see this a bit better, because it's a bit difficult to see now, I'm going to generate a new texture and choose to generate a UV grid instead of a blank. Hit OK, add a new material, and under the base color tab, let's choose the grid that we just generated. OK, say that you're happy with your unwrap. What if you now want to hand paint this in Photoshop or GIMP? We first need to export our UV layout, so choose UV and at the bottom find Export UV Layout. Choose your size and fill opacity. I recommend leaving this to zero if you only want the outlines. In Photoshop, open that UV layout and to test things let's just fill everything with one color and save the file as a PSD. Back in Blender, let's choose our model, but instead of the UV grid we generated earlier, let's find our PSD file. Load that into the base color and there we go! Now it's going to be difficult to see if we've done anything, so while in Photoshop let's just paint in some random stuff, hit Ctrl S to save and switching over to Blender, if we're in the UV editor tab and hit Alt R to reload the texture, there we go, it updated right away. Also, an additional tip, if you've worked on a hand-painted asset and you want to retain how it looks in Photoshop without having Blender slides or HDRIs affect the texture, just switch out the standard BSDF with an emission. Emission textures basically ignore all lighting information in the scene, so that's the best way to accurately represent your texture as you've painted it. So my last tip would be if you have two monitors or a monitor and a tablet to kind of have both Blender and Photoshop open at the same time because that way you can update the model without having to switch tabs and this is my preferred way of working. It just speeds up the process by a lot. Since there is no live link that exists between Photoshop and Blender just yet, hopefully this will help speed up some of your guys' workflow. I haven't found any videos talking about this straightforward method of working, so I thought I'd just make a quick little video on this topic. Anyway, hopefully some of you found this video useful. This week's video was pretty short, but we have some very exciting new videos coming up real soon. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye!